Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, yes, the safeguards have all worked for NSA. What? The safeguards have worked for NSA? What in the world were they? Yeah, that's a good point. What in the world are they thinking? But don't worry because they worked so well. Yes, they're going to go ahead and tighten them up and make them more strenuous. Oh, where have we been? Oh, have you been watching news lately? Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. <laughs> well, yeah, it absolutely is all over this morning. It is the official announcement of Baynard. He will not go along with the, with the rebels in the Republican Party and shut down Obamacare because the president will make them look bad if they do. So he's got to give, well, we're going to use our leverage and we're going to get him to delay it for a year. Mm -hmm. And then we hope in that time we'll be able to convince him how bad an idea it is. No. Mm -hmm. They said the problem, uh, Baynard has 38 Republican votes to go with the House, with the Democrats, and he'll hand Obama every single thing Obama wants, including an end to sequester. He said that we're going to hold tight and we're going to make the president st stand by his, his sequester. Well, they already said they're going to do nothing to stop the government town. All he has to do is say, unless, unless you give me your first vir virgin daughter, I'm going to shut this nation down and tell them that you're against the people of this nation. I mean, a, a Boehner's already, the only, gam the only playing ship they had, he said, they're not going to play. Mm -hmm. And all Obama has to do is say, shut down the government, and the Republicans will be blamed. They said, um, I was listening last night, one of the Rep Democrats said, I mean, do you know why the Republicans aren't doing well? He said, because there's not a spine in any one of the Republican leaders. He said, if you're going to play with the big boys, you have to play by their rules. Mm -hmm. And he said, it is a, uh, you know, they're basically, it's, it's, a, it's a bare knuckles match, and this guy is trying to fight it with, well, don't do that. That's not nice attitude. So Republicans are lost. I mean, they expect them to, they expect that most of these people that are voting with Obama are going to be thrown out of office, and you're going to end up with a, I, you're going to end up with a Republican majority because the whole nation is against Obamacare, but it's going to be more to the right than it was before because of Baynard. And non-citizens could serve on California juries under the bill passed. I know. It, it's simply, okay, you know what Herbie Danny says? You know where they get the jury polls from? The voter ID. The voter, <laughs> I, voter registration. <laughs> if you're not registered to vote, you don't get called in for jury duty which means that the Democrats intend to allow the illegal aliens to vote in the next election, mm -hmm. which means the Republicans lose no matter what. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, and here's part of it. California is a Democratic state anyway. But this is going to, every state that is ran by the Democrats are going to put in, the first step is going to be allowing them to serve on juries, the next step, well, if they're allowed to serve on a jury, they should be allowed to vote because we can't call them to duty unless they're on the voter rolls. I know. Imagine that. We give all these rights to people that aren't citizens. So, I mean, they don't do that in other countries. And they don't. He's got, it means 11 states in this nation, by the end of, by the time the fall elections come along, will have uh, illegally, uh, uh, illegally made them citizens of the state with the ability to vote. And Obama has tried to work with the Republicans, but the Tea Party refuses to let it happen. Oh, that one comes on. He basically, uh, he did his interview with like CBS and and they, you know, that like the Republicans are trying to, the Tea Party is trying to destroy this nation. They're extremists and they don't, he said, they just don't like me because I'm a black man. Mm -hmm. No, they don't like him because, okay, uh, oh, what is his approval rating? 27%. Mm -hmm. That means the whole, okay, he, you know, oh, who is it that like, how many liberal Democrats in this? Oh, it's 27%, which means there's, his approval rating isn't going to go much lower because that's the amount of liberals are in the country. And initial Western intelligence finds Syrian forces use chemical weapons. There is no proof of anything. The, 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 what they have is a videotape that they can't tell where the videotape was done, what time the videotape was done, and they can't tell who did it. That's called bad journalism. I mean, uh, I was listening, uh, whatever it is, uh, Bill O'Reilly talking with the... Um, the guy that used to be the representative of the United States from Cleveland basically lost his seat to a Republican. Mm -hmm. He said that, uh, he said, I used to be a journalist before I was mayor of the city of Cleveland. He said, 
I wouldn't have even bothered with it because there is no evidence when the tape was shot, where it was taught, and who shot it. This could have been back when Saddam Hussein's day. Said they know hospitals are filled up, but they don't know why they're there for. I mean, there is no evidence. There, there is no independent evidence of dead bodies. There is no independence of, of, of anything. It's just like there is no evidence that one million children have fled the battle in Syria. There is none. Mm -hmm. But that's the repressive pointing that the Democrats are pointing that out. And overseas free on luxury London property chokes local business. Chinese are buying up London. Oh. Yeah, because they got all of these all of these properties. Well, I know, for instance, my family has a great big place in England. Because they're cheap. Yeah, and uh, the neighbors of them are basically they they either their property either goes over to the Royal Trust which basically does nothing to maintain it anymore, or they sell it off to the Chinese, and they, um, uh, what is it, my, one of my, uh, hopefully they expect soon to be a, a cousin, Sylvia, has simply said that uh, they're having to go learn Chinese locally because the Chinese are buying everything up. They said they're buying the stores, they're buying the, and all of it is being done because they're the only people with money. Mm -hmm. they're, not, they're not making any money in England, they're flat ass broke. They're, and I know, they're buying low. They're right? buying it really low. And they're overpaying for it. Well, the thing is, they're paying. They're buying low and overpaying. They're buying low and overpaying to make certain that nobody will tell them they can't have it. They're, oh. What it is, is they're paying, uh, they're paying like a third below former market value, which is two thirds higher than they can get from anywhere by else. In other words, is the people don't want to sell the, to the Chinese, they can't resist because money's too good. That's right, because there is no, there is no asking price. There is no nobody money. else is, they yeah. don't have any money. And Manning's gender transition sets up legal showdown. Yep, they expect that. Holder has already said, we're going to have to look at the legality of sending this, the, this young, he called her a young lady, to a men's prison, which is illegal. And we do not have facilities for females. So they're going to have to transfer her, him, her, whatever, to a federal prison of which oh, the Justice Department has control of, which means he's going to be released soon, folks. Mm -hmm. And Manning's gender trend. Oh, San Diego mayor resigns amid sexual harassment claims. Well, what happened is the city made an agreement that they will pay off all the claims if he leaves office. Oh, really? Yeah. And New Jersey gay marriage advocates argue they're kept cause in state court. Well, the, okay, it, the state is not, New Jersey is not ran by Democrats, it's ran by Republicans uh, and Democrats. So they're, they said they've already, the, the House and Senate passed a, a, a thing which basically gave them uh, several, you know, which they can do anyway, which guarantees they have several unions. Mm -hmm. And then they decided, well, that's not going to be enough. We want gay marriage totally, and we're not going to let the voters vote on it. What happens is, is that everybody says every state that is the House and Senate and uh, has passed gay marriage has basically delayed it uh, until the next federal election, which is 2014. But they expect to lose the vote and then go to the Supreme Court and have the Supreme Court no, the Supreme Court basically said that the state it's a state's rights issue, not a federal issue, and in California. All they did was put the thing back on the ballot again. That's all that's going to happen, and they will lose because they're getting, what are they getting ready to do in California? What? They're getting ready to allow the Hispanics who don't believe in gay rights to vote in California, which is going to be a bloodbath for gay rights well, in guess, state. Yeah, I guess that's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. And conviction overturned in Oregon Islamic charity case. Well, he was just sending money to Al-Qaeda in those places, but the Obama administration decided to uh, drop all the charges against him because he really, the guy didn't really know that his money was going to feed terrorists. Well, yeah, because there's one in Florida with the same organization, in New York, all of these states, all of these people were uh, put on trial under, under the Bush administration and are getting ready to be released under the Obama administration. And a Monty bubble is in front of Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, it, it, it basically if it sounds stupid when you're saying it, it probably is stupid.